What's going on my Brood War brothers? Welcome back to another daily dose of Brood War. Today we're going to be looking at some TVT here with Sock versus Rush. Change the colors here. That's a little bit better. We've got Rush here in the top right. Sock down here in the bottom right. And at the beginning they were talking just a bit. I translated it through Google and basically what was said was Sock talked about his ELO or his MMR. He said his score is low and how does he get better? And Rush said his MMR is high right now and it, indeed it is. Said how many wins and how many losses Sock asked. Rush said 31 wins and 9 losses. Sock said ha 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 damn because god damn that's some strong wins and losses right now he's got a few more losses under his belt he's at 23 29 on the ladder in terms of his mmr and sock is number one he is numero uno on the ladder here at the moment sitting at 27 28 so absolute godlike play from him getting that high up on the ladder here and he's starting out with the barracks in the middle of the map whereas rush is going to be throwing down a very quick cc here and it's going to be a little dangerous a little bit dangerous in this early game he will need to get a bunker out here pretty early on in order to hold on against this factory he sees that there's no barracks in the main he sees the factory is coming here and we're gonna do our absolute best to dissect this tvt guys we don't do much tvt on the channel that is for sure but i'm gonna do what i can here as a humble zerg player to give you guys some good tvt analysis pretty nice trade here from rush he's just barely gonna win that fight and it looks like this barracks is just almost barely gonna finish oh it's so close looks like it did finish in time the marine actually gonna run by here i guess he's looking for the other marine or just looking to get a scout on he should know what's coming and he should be able to figure out that there should be some gas being mined here in the main and with the cc down there's not really anything else he could have at this point besides a few marines and a gas geyser and so he will get that information, just drawing the Marines away from the front for a moment. Going to start his own CC on his side of the map. Sock going to send his first Vulture across right here. And oh my goodness, look at the star sense from Rush here. Sending out one SCV before the Vulture arrives. He finds this starport building on high ground. Looks like he will lose the SCV, unfortunately. But... Getting that information is huge. And look at that. Sock actually going to cancel. Realizing that that's not going to be a good plan anymore. He throws down his factory back at home. But this is already a huge loss for Sock. He's fallen behind in the overall macro game here. Because we've got this uh, earlier CC out of Rush. And unfortunately... Rush spots that starport. He's not going to be able to get a drop on either. And he had to cancel. A lot of things going wrong for Sock. He's going to follow that up with a speed upgrade here. Speed first. Very interesting. I thought we would see mines so that he can start to like really take control over the map. But instead he's going to go speed. Is this for a quick run by here? Well, it's going to be kind of wrecked by this little wall in we've got i don't think that they can slip by this they're gonna reposition the barracks here floating it forward wait a second is he opening the wall spreading out right here spreading the legs rush opening up the door to a big run by potentially we're building a lot of vultures back at home and sock is getting mines now He's got five vultures here. Only two for Rush right now. It looks like Rush wants to get out on the map with these vultures. But they might just get completely crushed. And a run by could follow straight after that. Yeah, look at this. He's coming out. 
He's moving out. He wants to kill this, but it's gone. There's no starport there at all. This is a complete switch up from Sock. And it feels like Rush is a step behind the eight ball here. He's going to go ahead and check for a third base. Wide open is the natural. Wide open. Really surprised that Sock doesn't want to try and make a run by in there. He's going to come into the natural and see how many vultures are being produced. I think it would be pertinent right now for Rush to build something in that wall. Protect himself from the potential of a run by. He's got a few vultures out on the map. He's going to send some more out, man. I would be so afraid right now. We have so many vultures here for Sock. So, so many vultures. If he ran into this natural, couldn't he do a lot of damage? Well, now with more and more vultures coming out here, I guess he won't be able to. And with incomplete information, Sock not going for that play. And Rush continuing to be ahead here. Ahead in supply, ahead in workers. But not by a huge amount. Not by a large margin. Just a small margin. The number of... SCVs he is advantaged in right now. Two vultures might be able to make their way into Socks Natural here. This could be a big win for Rush. Unfortunately, a tank popping out going to come to the Natural here at just the right time to be able to save these SCVs. So very nicely done there. Good timing for Sock to be moving out right as the tanks are starting to come here. And we're moving towards the middle of the map. These Goliaths are going to add a lot of DPS, but the tanks even more so. Surprising that we've got more Vultures here for Rush now. Going to target down maybe the Goliaths? I'm not sure what he's targeting here. Looks like he's just trying to target down as many of the Vultures as he can. And keep the tanks alive here. Keep their DPS up during that fight and does a pretty decent job of it. Thanks. Now cannot actually reach this position. I think where he wanted to be at was probably at this choke here. But instead, now Sock kind of having to sit back a little bit. Might want to come down here and try to take this third base now. Because Rush seems to have the same thing in mind. Filling up these tanks here. Going to utilize one scan to get rid of some of these mines. And perhaps take a position out on the map. Only one tank here for Rush. Second tank now entering the field. But four tanks, five tanks already here for Sock. Taking a good amount of the middle of the map. But not really pushing too much farther forward here. He's also leaving a bit of a back stab angle open in towards his natural. If Rush wanted to go for that. The more positional play here for Sock. Moving out towards the middle, taking this big amount of tanks here and pushing through. This would be the prime location right along here to Siege. Very hard to get your whole army. This is still a very wide choke, but if you can get a nice wide containment on that, you'd be feeling very good. But now things are starting to look like a split map situation. You can see we've got the no man's land here in the middle. The floating barracks for rush very important part of this uh siege line here giving him the vision out in front of the tank the tank has slightly more vision oh this is a good move oh but the mine actually totally wrecks that oh and he accidentally targets a mine there as well okay he does get one tank but really not the great trade that sock was looking for sock was looking to move three tanks up scan and kill one tank for free but that just did not work out. He needs to bring the SCV up to repair these. They are very low. Double expansion here for Rush. Where it's just a single expansion for Sock. Playing a little bit more defensive. A little bit less greedy than Rush. Rush had fewer tanks. But he was still able to hold here. You can see he's got much fewer tanks right now. Just four. Whereas how many do we have from Sock right now? Nine tanks in the middle of the map. Nine tanks being held by just four. And here comes three more. We'll reinforce this position. But I think that Rush is just being a little bit more greedy. And Sok is just not punishing him for it. He did manage to take out one tank, of course. The mine almost ruining his day. But 
He's managed to keep them alive. We'll be able to repair up now. The barracks here keeping an eye on this tank line. The vultures moving around the left-hand side of the map are going to be stopped by a tank here on high ground. Some vulture and tank might want to come up here and clear this. Maybe we can take this base here. Having tanks on high ground right here is very difficult to break through. It's not going to be fun to try and take out that base. If Sock manages to get tank on high ground. And he's got enough tanks in the middle of the map right now. Do we have Wraith play incoming? Looks like we will have some Wraiths being produced here. On the side of Sock. But Rush really more interested in getting a massive factories and really pumping up his macro here with this fifth base coming, fourth base coming online, excuse me. Moving into position to take this base over here now. Rush going to hold half the map with this base. And it'll be up to Sock to take this now in order to hold his half of the map. He's also trying to take a base in the bottom left. Double expanding right now. But falling further and further behind. In terms of his overall supply. And of course. That. Uh, worker count. A full 10. Full 10 workers down right now. Pretty rough. For our blue Terran. We've got Charon boosters on both sides. As this map begins to get split in half. But. One thing I'm confident about is we are not going to get an ultra, ultra late game here. This is retro. It is not a map like Vermeer. One where there are almost infinite bases around the map. There's so many bases for either side that things can get really, really wild in a Terran versus Terran late game. Instead, here we only have a few bases left to take. And already... Rush is taking all the bases remaining on his side of the map. A big push forward here. Sok going to try and take some space. This is the move. He's going to rather than attempting. Oh, and there's only plus one done for Rush. Wait a second. The plus two timing here for Sok. Making a big difference. He's going to be able to come forward with the race. Deal some damage to maybe some tanks here. As well as the barracks, some Goliaths are going to come out. Not yet. One Wraith making its way to the field, but one Wraith gets absolutely wrecked by two Wraiths. So you've got to be very careful bringing that forward here. He's going to bring up some Marines with the Wraith to maybe take a fight with that. But you do have to be careful here. Nice job. Dealing some damage. And Sock, I'm a little worried for him if he doesn't push through here pretty soon. We haven't taken this base yet. Whereas Rush has taken all the bases on his side of the map. We're kind of banking on dealing some damage on making some th some action happen here in the middle of the map. He's pushing forward a little bit more. The D Matrix is clutch right now. Pushing through quite a lot. But will be shut down. That's a lot of tanks. You can't really push through that, I think. And plus two is just about to finish. Rush really behind with that plus two. I'm just kind of shocked at that. He seemed behind in his tank count. He seemed behind in his uh, his upgrades here. And the only thing he has been consistently ahead in is just how aggressively he's been setting up bases. Looks like we might have picked off a, a dropship potentially. I think a dropship just went down here in the natural. But I don't think it was loaded up. Just seeing that we're transitioning into dropships here for Rush is very good information on the side of Sock. Oh, some drops out here as well. So we are transitioning into drops for Sock as well. Very interesting. We're going to see some wild swings here, I'm sure. Ooh, only three tanks on this side. Sock has identified a bit of a hole in the defenses here for Rush. Rush is going to come down here. Bringing a lot of vultures with this army. The tanks down here just out of range of the tanks coming down to help out. And boom. Huge, huge kills on these tanks on Sock's left side. Managing to take out this left flank very well. 
And Rush gonna really secure this position here now while also securing this. Remember I talked about this a little bit ago? How Sock could easily take this base and hold it from high ground? But instead he chose to try and push here in the middle of the map. And that could be his downfall because now we've got mines and tanks over here. Instead, Sock is going to go for a big drop in the top left. There are a bunch of turrets here already. Dealing a lot of damage to these drop ships. Hopefully he... Okay, he didn't pull back the drops. If he just sent the drops all the way past and then waited for the turrets to die, he would have definitely had a better trade there. But instead, he loses a couple of drop ships. He does get in here and kill a lot of these SCVs, though. The Vultures need to go to work on the SCVs. Really, need to kill as many as you can. But instead, the SCVs are going to be allowed to jump on top of a lot of these tanks. And the tanks here going to be friendly firing a lot of their damage onto each other. This tank over here might get one more shot off. It does, but the tank going to finish that off. And this drop has been stopped. But a few SCVs get killed. 81 SCVs now for Sock. Kind of insane. Two tanks and a bunch of mines. Two turrets on this high ground. Really, Rush is holding this as a placeholder. Wants to make that as difficult for Sock to take as possible. But we've still got plenty of minerals around the map. We don't need that base just yet. Drops heading over towards the natural. He turns around here. We've got a lot of drops from Rush now. Rush really outdoing Sock in terms of the number of drops now. Nine drop ships. That is a dirty amount of drops. So just four drops on the side of Sock. Very hard. Oh, five drops, excuse me. Very hard to match with uh, inferior numbers of drop ships. The drop ship army of your opponent. Where are we going to send this army here? Army turning around. The fleet. Moving down through the left-hand side. That's a lot of turrets over here. Quite a few on the side of Sock as well. I don't think you want to go for that. But maybe Rush is going to respond to wherever Sock goes. And eventually get this base up. Have more than half the map and take him out in the late game. You can see... We're just getting the last vehicle platings here as plus three is done on either side. I'm gonna fly through a bunch of turrets here. Wow, you don't expect to see that many turrets. Actually, that is so many here. And Sock gonna lose a lot of SCVs, trading out for a lot of these tanks. And actually a lot, of, oh my God, so many dropships going down here during that fight. A ton of dropships on both sides, but actually I think Rush coming out ahead in this. You can see Sock Supply dropping rapidly down to 143. He still has 66 SCVs, but his dropship count is direly low. A lot of Goliath snipes on those dropships. Sock going to try and push up to this high ground here, but I think this is doomed to fail. That is a lot of tanks on high ground. We've got SCVs coming down. To block here and we should have a load up of drop ships making their way over to defend this area look at how hard it is to get up a high ground into one of these bases and really isn't this base more important for sock you need to get up there and actually kill that maybe he thinks he can get if he can get rid of this maybe that opens up top left but i don't think so that's so many turrets up there Dropship fleet from Rush is moving around the right-hand side. It's a once again at nine dropships here. He lost about one to two drops. Wow, that's a lot of turrets, though. We've got Goliath here at the rally point as well. I don't think it's going to be a possibility. As Rush scans, he decides to turn around. He's going to look for another area to drop. I think the counter drop over here to clear out this base might be the right choice. And Rush going to take center right now. He actually managed to take up a bunch of this gas. So he's already managed to mine out about 1,200 gas out of that uh, area. Oh, he's pushing through the middle now. Landing drops on top of a lot of these tanks here. Shoving forward right now against this big wall of sock armor. With that huge supply advantage. 40 supply advantage. A lot of... Sox army being over here at the center left. 
Rush is actually able to take a pretty good spot here. Can he push through down into this area? That would be a great spot to hold, but Sock gonna respond with drops of his own. Coming down here, dropping off tanks. He's gonna try and prevent this breakthrough on his western front. The western flank here opened up now by Rush. Sock just gonna do a very defensive drop here. Landing tanks on high ground down at the bottom left. Some Goliaths here as well as he adds on more and more turrets. In a bit of a bit of de desperation, here comes Rush once again. Sending in the tanks here in a big way. He's going to steal away this high ground. And that just might be GG, guys. That might actually be GG. Look at this army parked in such a nice position right on top of this little plateau here. Beautifully done. Wow, so many drops have been made by Sock now. It's actually a little bit crazy at this point. We've got 12 dropships. Where is he going to send these? If not down into the bottom left? Like, what is he going to do? Go for the main or something? There's so many turrets. Maybe he can fly through it all, though. With 12 dropships, you might be able to make it happen regardless. I think he's got more than 12, actually, now. Wow, the scan coming down on this. Rush sees all 12 dropships and he knows that the next play that comes out of Sock will be the game decider here. Wherever these dropships go, that's going to be either a win or a loss from Sock. Look at this. He's got more than 12. Holy crap. He's got more than 12. He's got 13 drops. 13 drops, guys. He's moving around with 10 right now. Where is he going to try to take? Sock going to take center left somehow. Trying to take that base right now is a little bit insane, but he's moving his drops around. He's sending them maybe towards bottom left. Maybe he wants to take the space back. I think that might be a good idea. SCV train here. Moving up to the center left. Sock going to try to mine from that. He's in a much more precarious position though than Rush right now. Rush is feeling very good with 12 drops of his own. Oh my god roaming here and just trying to match wherever these 12 drops are sent by sock as long as rush has information on where these drops are as long as he continues to scan that he can match with these 12 drops of his own and he shouldn't be able to get broken anywhere slowly moving up here are these actually yeah these are rush mines i don't know how that wasn't spotted Drop ships over here as the army moves forward. Rush is going to evacuate this position. No use fighting over this 12 o'clock. It is nearly mined out here. But maybe we can fly through his sock now? Is there an opening here to fly through? That might be the play right now. However, Rush actually making a move first. He's going to go for the main. He's going for the main here. Dropping on this high ground. Holy crap. Look at all those units popping out here. At the same time, Sock going to drop in Rush's main. We're going to go picture in picture here as the chaos unfolds. So many factories are going to be lifted off in Rush's base. This is a huge wave of tanks here being dropped off by Sock. He's actually going to start to pick up a lot of this. Realizing that he's not going to win this in a long game, I don't think. He needs to find somewhere else to drop. He's going to force all the factories to lift. So might as well go and drop somewhere else now. Wow, this is wild. He's killing so much of the main base. At the same time, Rush killing off a lot of this main base as well. Absolutely insane. We're going to follow the dropships here, though, of Sock. Where is he going to go with these? Oh my gosh, he's just going to fly straight into this high ground over here. Take the same position that Rush has on his side of the map and try to hold it. SCVs have been pulled very, very soon, but there is no sieged up tanks, so there's no splash damage to speak of. And wow, Sock is going to take out everything in the top left. Look at this. Drops are coming around here for Rush. Where is he going to go with this? Is he going to try and drop on top? Is he going to try and drop center left? You know, he's going to try and drop on top of this. Right as the siege up comes, he's going to drop on the tanks here. This is absolute madness right now. Rush protecting protecting his base here 
in the top left gonna kill a lot of these tanks i think though that these tanks can migrate to this area here then continue to pressure that cc where are all the factories right now landing here on the low ground landing in the middle of the map maybe scvs are refugees heading all over the place right now where are these scvs going i have no idea where those were headed but they're over here in the middle of the map now a big siege line here from sock as he wipes out all the bases the only base mining for rush right now is this base right here the only base for sock this mining right now is this base over here but you know what sock has lost all of his factories his factories are gone whereas rush i think thinking a bit more on his feet managing to lift off the factories from the main base to save just a few of them to where once he starts to rebuild some supply depots he can actually start to macro once again this is insanity guys we don't have anything okay we've got a few things here inside these drops scvs in the middle of the map trying to kill factories that's how mad we've gone in this game this factory is actually gonna burn down with three tanks uh queued up here i don't think you get the money back from this if this dies but gg is called before that can even happen sock taps out he realizes that his opponent is still going to be able to make some units and he will no longer have that luxury gg what an insane game guys look at the banks that are left here 1600 minerals here for sock 2000 gas to rushes to 2500 minerals and 5000 gas absolute madness protecting these supply depots actually might have been the game winning play here saving these supply depots even though he wasn't able to save the mining here at this base the fact that he saved those supplies means he was finally able to begin producing once again and that was really the straw that broke the camel's back here was the fact that sock saw the factories producing here in the middle of the map he saw these producing here these goliaths and he knew that it was years before he could get my uh not mining excuse me before he could get any sort of production rolling once again he needed to build so many supply depots and he just had no space to do so he only had this area to build supply depots in maybe over here too but that's it guys wow what an incredible tvt i thoroughly enjoyed that one and i hope you did too this has been your daily dose of brood war and i'll see you tomorrow